Before we begin, I just want to re uh, recognize a few people that are in the audience and behind me. I apologize in advance if we missed anyone. We have a, a very large crowd today. I uh, want to recognize the mayor of the city of Yonkers, Mayor Mike Spano, Senate Majority Leader Andrew Stewart Cousins, Senator Shelley Mayer, Assemblyman Mayor Sage, Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins, County Legislator Jimmy Nolan, City Council President Lakeisha Collins Bellamy, Luke Sweeney representing Councilman Breen's office, Councilwoman Tasha Diaz, Councilman Anthony Moranti, former City Council Member Silver Brandon, former Senator Nick Spano, PBA President Frank McDonald, Detective Specialist, and CLSA President Detective Captain Michael Hanley. Today, and Gary Pretlow, I apologize. He was here. Today, we remember and pay tribute to a life lost, and we dedicate such an integral piece of our city in his memory. On December 1st, 2022, Detective Sergeant Frank Waldino was killed in the line of duty in a head-on crash when a 16-year-old speeding driver lost control of his vehicle and collided with Sergeant Waldino's police vehicle. After a lengthy investigation, the driver was charged and arrested exactly one year ago today. At this time, I'd ask you to please welcome the Honorable Mayor Mike Spano for his remarks. Frank, thank you and good morning everyone. This is a very, very powerful moment this morning. If you really think about it, we all know that as I, I was speaking with uh, Late with the, the woman from Mad, Mad Today. We don't need to be here. Shouldn't be here. Where we stand, Frank was having his final moments, talking with his wife and planning what his future would be, whether it be that immediate future or any kind of a long term. And by the time he reached the sign, He's no longer with us. It's a powerful place for us to stand. That moment. And when you think about it, we think that he is no longer with us, in, not in walking amongst us. And while he's, you always have to remember that with our faith, that he is still touching us. He's still inside of us. His memories will live on. So many things that will make you laugh and cry. He was a fantastic police officer. He served our city well. He was a great friend, a wonderful husband, a fantastic father to, to Emily, to Mark, and um, while he is, like I said, not with us today, he is with us in spirit. And I truly believe that. I truly do. Because he transitioned from here to there, but even though he transitioned there, he's still with us. Um, to the people of Yonkers, we, as always, say thank you for his service to us. We will never stop fighting for what he stood for. We will never stop caring and being devoted to the people of our city, the police officers that are here today who put their uniform on in service because they were sworn to protect, just like Frank, was sworn to protect his community and would do it over and over and over again. So remember the gravity of what is about to happen to you today. It's not just a name on a plaque. It's a moment in history. It's a moment that will be just cherished in our hearts because we're celebrating a man's life. Let's not forget that. I want to say special thanks to all who participated because there is a lot of effort that has to go into uh, getting these signs up. It starts with the city council, the county legislature, 
uh, Lakeisha Collins Bellamy, the members of the city council, John Rubo, Anthony Moranti, Jimmy Nolan, uh, our Westchester County's deputy county executive. And then, of course, when it finally gets all through all that, uh, it is a state bridge going over a state throughway. And to get the recognition of not just our delegation, Senate Majority, Majority Leader Andrew Stewart Cousins, Senator Shelley Mayer, my really good friend Nader Sage, who spearheaded this effort and made it his agenda, part of his agenda, along with uh, the Dean of the Delegation, Gary Pretlow, getting the state legislature to see this. It's not something they do every day but something that is done for the chosen few, for the special. Frank was special. We all will remember him fondly. And I just want to say thank you, Lisa. We love you. Emily, Mark, we love you. And we're with you. We grieve with you. And we celebrate with you Frank's life. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now, please welcome New York State Senate Majority Leader, the Honorable Andrea Stewart Cousins. I am, um, I'm just humbled to be here. I want to thank the family for allowing us to recognize your husband, your father, uh, in this way. And I think what the mayor said is really accurate. Things like this don't happen easily. They don't happen, certainly in states, easily, because there are just so many people involved. But when there are special people who have given so much of their lives in service of the community, the community comes together and says, this is such a person, a special person. So it was heartening after, obviously, the tragedy to be able to get to work, to get to work on behalf of the memory of someone who served so proudly, so distinctively, so selflessly. And so every level of government, as well as the police family, as well as community, said we ought to do this. And here we are. When people say government can't work together, yes, we can, especially when it comes to something that will not only remind us of what it looks like to serve, but remind us that when tragedy occurs, we don't have to forget it, we don't have to ignore it, we can learn from it, but we can also honor the memory. So it is certainly an honor to, along with, with uh, my colleague in the Senate, uh, Senator Mayer, who's here, and all of it. I mean, the way this goes is that it has to pass with the majority in both houses. And so, uh, some be member Sage and Pretlow and the other house, we spearheaded this. But of course, our colleagues were in agreement. And then the governor has to sign uh, the legislation that renames this area. And that she did. And I'll be presenting it, not now, but there's a pen certificate that the governor gives when legislation is signed. And this one was signed as of September 11th uh, by the governor, which will be presented to the family. So again, thank you for uh, making it easy for us to remember a hero in this way. Thank you. Thank you, Majority Leader. Please welcome New York State Senator Shelley Mayer. Much. It's really extraordinary to see, to look out and see how many people are here. The police family, yes, a brotherhood and sisterhood of people who are here. 
and who have been there for you and I am confident will continue to be because that is the tradition of this department. But also community people and also people who know as they drive over this bridge every day that they're going to think in the back of their mind, we were here for something very special, the naming of a bridge. The remembrance of Frank Aldino is here. It's not just, as a leader said, a sign, it's a memory. And for this Tuckahoe Road, this centerpiece of our Yonkers life, to be here and to be a place that we know the memory is strong, the commitment is there, the community surrounds you with love and will continue to do so. And I want to thank all who made this happen, a collective effort. I was proud to be a co-sponsor, of course, of this bill. And for all our colleagues in the legislature who say this is important, we have to do this. And we did this, we all did this, because this is the right thing to do for his memory, his commitment, and for this family. Thank you for giving us the honor of being part of this sad ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. At this time, please welcome New York State Assemblyman Nader Sage. Thank you very much. Uh, this is indeed, you know, not only a worthy cause, but really whether we're ser serving our constituents here in Yonkers or the county or state government, it is really fitting that we recognize individuals that really, in, in political terms, they say go beyond the call of duty. But in this case, we're recognizing the life and legacy of Frank Gualdino. And for me, it was extra special because one of the other hats I wear as an attorney is I appeared in court many, many times and had the pleasure of working with Frank and dealing with issues and witness firsthand his knowledge, his compassion, his patience, his ability to do the right thing. And when we do a renaming at any level, it really is expressing our appreciation, not only for Frank, but also for the men and women in blue, respect in first responders, respect and safety and security, and that's very important for us. So when it came to our attention working with Mayor Spano, Police Commissioner Sapienza, and reaching out to my friend uh, Jimmy Nolan on the county level, we understood the importance of recognizing this bridge, this area where Frank lost his life to remind us of his commitment and his compassion and to remember his legacy. And as you know, we will be witnessing the removal and showing a beautiful plaque renaming this bridge, Frank Gualdino Bridge, but also below on the sprain going northbound and southbound will also be beautiful signs that we'll also uh, witness. So today, for me, it's very special to join with my colleagues in state government and the governor to make this presentation to Lisa, to Mark, to Emily, really to the entire family and the entire Yonkers community, and tell us that the legacy and the memory and the life of Frank Waldino would live on. God bless you, Frank. Thank you, Assemblyman. At this time, please welcome Westchester County Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins. Certainly, being out here this morning on behalf of County Executive George Latimer and all of our family in the county, that we, as Mayor Spano said, we, we didn't need to be here. We shouldn't have had to be here, but we're here because of Frank Galdino and the tragedy that every one of our members in our family of law enforcement looks at every day. 
and to make sure that we are memorializing Frank's great memory of all the work he did prior and the connections that we have for everyone in our county, in our city, and in our state to be able to do this. Memorializing someone with all the levels of government that needed to be connected to make this happen is not an easy task, and it gets to show the complexity of the world that we live in. But our law enforcement community, our first responders, the people that keep and run into situations when everyone else is running away, that's the memory that we need to continue to celebrate and recognize and memorialize here today. So on behalf of County Executive Latimer, it was not a challenge at all for us to make sure that we moved the moves that we needed to do in conjunction with the County Board of Legislators making their votes, but coordinating with every level of government to make sure that we're memorializing for the Galdino family, for our law enforcement family, but for all of us to have a permanent memorial to show every day. And we want to make sure to recognize those that made sure that the flags that were on the bridge continue to be updated because it was a challenge to make sure that happened. But the Yonkers Police Department and every member of law enforcement that connected made sure that that memory continued to stay till we got to today. So while we know that the job is difficult, it's challenging, every person that puts on that uniform makes sure that every day they are fighting and protecting for all of us. And this is the least that we can do to memorialize Sergeant Frank, Detective Sergeant Frank Goldino. And it's been a privilege to be here with all of you to do this memorial ceremony and to be able to display the plaques that we're going to display today. So again, that memorialization for the families. May Frank's memory continue to be a blessing for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This time, please welcome County Legislator James Nolan. Thank you, and thank you everybody for being here today, and thank you to everybody that helped support this. Uh, everybody knows me. If, uh, if I have a thought in my head, I pretty much try my, do my best to get it done. Uh, I remember when I was walking down the St. Patrick's Day parade route, getting ready to line up, and I had somebody say, why don't we memorialize Frank by the bridge? By the end of that route, I'm like, we should dedicate the bridge to Frank, because this is the right thing to do. And going through the process, uh, presented to the county executive, to the county board of legislators, to Nader, uh, Assemblyman Sage, to the mayor, to the Senate Majority Leader, the county, everybody. This was something that was hands down, nothing but supportive. We're often told as elected officials, don't make promises. And I promise you, I was, we were gonna find a way to get it done. I know how it feels, unfortunately, to lose someone tragically that you love. And I didn't want it to be necessarily when you drive by here, you thought of something just tragic. I wanted this to be something that we can all say, Frank, this is for you. We are gonna honor you, we're gonna always remember you, and that you're never gonna be forgotten, not in the Yonkers, not in Westchester, not in New York. So once again, thank you for coming here today. This is by far one of the most appreciative moments that I have so far. It's, like I said, no, everybody supported this. And I, again, I want you to remember that Frank is one of us and we're always gonna watch out for you guys and we're always gonna remember Frank. So thank you. Thank you, legislator. At this time, I'd like to welcome City Council President Lakeisha Collins Bellamy to say a few words on behalf of the Yonkers City Council. about anyone else but the gravity of this moment today is palpable just the attendance of everyone here the reason that we are all here is a constant reminder to all of us it should serve as a constant reminder that life is precious tell your loved ones you love them everyone who knew detective sergeant Frank Waldino loved him we affectionately called him Furby and all of us remember where we were when we heard about the tragedy with Furby. And 
that moment is not lost on the fact that the governor signed her documentation on September 11th, a day that we also all remember where we were when the tragedy happened. But we're here today to honor Frank and his family and to let them know that we are always here with them to support them. I am a wife of a police officer, so thank you for sharing Frank with us. He made the ultimate sacrifice and gave his life. And just understanding the gravity of one minute you're planning for retirement and the next minute you could be gone. Value your life, value your family, tell your loved ones that you love them because you never know when you're gonna receive that call. So today we honor Frank and his family and we do thank our colleagues, the entire council, thank our colleagues in government, in the state level, the Senate and the assembly, the mayor of course, the county legislators who helped make this happen. And we honor his entire family and thank you for sharing Frank with us. And we know that he is smiling down because it's a beautiful sunny day to honor Furby. Thank you and you will forever be in our prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Council President. At this time, please welcome Police Commissioner Christopher Sapienza. Morning. We are approaching two years without Detective Sergeant Goldino. His tragic loss caused the void we will never be able to fill. We always say that we will never forget, but when we lose an officer in the line of duty, we vow never to forget. This is the reason we hold memorials and dedications such as this. We want our community to remember Frank every time they travel across this bridge. We want to show that his legacy his service and his sacrifice to our community is not forgotten and will never be forgotten. We want the Goldino family to know that they will always be part of this community, organization, and this family, the Yonkers Police Department. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Lastly, before we unveil our new sign, please welcome Lisa Gualdino, the wife of Detective Sergeant Frank Gualdino, for remarks on behalf of her family. Thank you all for being here. Today is such a bittersweet day for me and my family. We are truly grateful to have Frank honored in this way. He undoubtedly crossed this bridge thousands of times over the course of his life, right up until the end. Frank died on this bridge doing what he loved, serving the people of Yonkers. As you cross this now symbolic bridge, I hope you recognize the strength and fortitude of the honor and sacrifice of Frank and the entire Yonkers Police Department. This dedication is a testament to the admiration surrounding Frank's tireless efforts to serve and protect his beloved city, and it should be treated as such. The void of Frank's loss is immeasurable and inextinguishable, but events like this help to heal the pain by granting him the love and respect he deserves. Thank you to New York State Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins, New York State Senator Shelley Mayer, County Executive George Latimer, County Legislator James Nolan, and especially Assemblyman Nader Sage, who has spearheaded this project for their determination, perseverance, and swift efforts that made this dedication possible. I also want to thank Mayor Mike Spano and the City of Yonkers, especially the Department of Public Works, who have been an invaluable part of facilitating numerous honors for Frank with great dedication and meticulousness. And last but certainly not least, I want to thank our Yonkers Police Department family for their unwavering love and support. They have been our partners on this journey every step of the way, and my children and I are eternally grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. At this time, we're gonna have the Gualdino family approach the sign for the unveiling. 